friends we will see the next pattern pie chart so in data interpretation so the data will be given in pie chart format also so normally when the data is given in pie charts so there will be two pie charts also having part of the data in each sometimes part of the data will be given in pie chart along with a line graph or bar diagram or sometimes with table format so here we have an example where we have a pie chart and a table so this question was taken from ibps po exam 2014 so here this question the data deals with there are six stores which sells mobile phones the total number of phones sold by all the six stores a b c d e and f is given as 66000 on this distribution percentage wise distribution of this sales is given in the pie chart say the store a sells 14% of the 66000 mobile phones and b sells 8% of the 66000 total number of phones c sells 13 32% of total phones and d sells 18% of the total phones e sells 11% of the total number of phones and f sells store f sells 17% of this total number of 66000 phones now each uh, store sells three brands of phones so three brands are nokia samsung and htc so we have an adjacent table where the ratio of the phones sold by each store in this three brands are given say for example store a sells this nokia samsung and htc in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 2 so correspondingly we have for each store ratios of this phone sold nokia samsung and htc so now using this detail data will answer the following questions so this detail is given for the year 2013 so all the six stores the distribution of sales in the year 2013 is given so with this data we will answer the following questions so we'll see the questions question number 1 the first question the question is the difference between the number of htc brand mobile phones sold by store a and that of samsung brand mobile phone sold by sold by store c so is asked so we have to find difference between the number of phones store sold by store a that is htc in htc brand and store c samsung brand so we will see the working so here we have the working slide and so when you see here the data has been highlighted so this will not be done in the exam so this i have highlighted the data for your easy understanding so choose the correct data and work it out otherwise you will end with a wrong answer so here what is the question difference between htc phones sold by store a and samsung phones sold by store c so normally how will work out so total number of phones is given as all together by this six stores is 66000 so we will find 14 percent so normally students will find 14% of 66000 and in that htc phones in this 14% two parts out of what is the total number of parts for store a it is 2 plus 3 plus 2 so it is seven parts out of this seven parts so we will divide this 14% by 7 and we will find two parts so the same way we will work out for samsung phones for store c also but instead of finding the data and then the difference so as total number of phones is same that is this percentage a and c 14% and 32% is for 66000 so we can write everything in a single stretch and uh, cancel out the common factors so work will be made easier so we will see how to work it out by writing out in a single stretch so we'll see the working so total number of phones is 66000 and in this a sells 14% and c sells 32% so we need only the difference so here which uh, store sells more number of phones c sells more number of phones so data for c will be higher so we'll first write details of c so c sells 32% 
and we need Samsung phones for C. So for this store C, what is the ratio given? Nokia, Samsung and HTC it is 3 is to 3 is to 2. So total number of parts is 8. So out of this 8 parts, so in this 66,000, 32%, this is divided into 8 parts and Samsung phone sold is 3 parts. So instead of finding 32% and then 8 parts and then out of that 3, so we can write everything in a single stretch, then finally find the answer. So we need the difference, so we subtract. <coughs> so now for A it is 14%. So in this 66,000, 14%. And now the ratio for store A is, for this 3 brands, 2 is to 3 is to 2, that is total number of parts is 7. In this we need HTC, that is 2 parts. So now as we have 100 common in both the parts, both terms, we can take it outside the bracket. And now cancel this values. So 8, 4 times is 32. And 7, 2 times is 14. So as we have taken this 100 common, so we are left out with 12 in the first term and 4 in the second term. So now difference is 8. Now instead of finding the values and subtracting, so we can work out in this pattern where easily you can find the answer. Now find the product of 660 into 8 will give you the answer. So 48, 4 and 52. So product of 660 into 8 is 660 into 8 is 5280. So difference between number of HTC phones sold by A and Samsung phones sold by store C is 5280 and answer is option A. So while, uh, so though we have worked out correct, while choosing the answer you have to choose the correct option. So 5280 we have the data in option A, so answer is option A. So we will see the next question.